Hi guys, what's up? I've uh, just been uh, to Woke uh, 1. Uh, this review is gonna have very, very minor spoilers, so uh, let's uh, get that out of the way. Uh, let's begin. Uh, had a great, um, had a great time. I think you all uh, know uh, the story about the people who stole the plants for the Death Star and uh, gave it um, to the rebellion. Um, so that's uh, nothing new uh, here. Um, absolutely great, um, great action. Um, it, it starts off a little bit uh, slow, um, but I think it's the most action-packed uh, Star Wars. Um, uh, gr great uh, actors play their characters. Uh, very uh, well, Felicity uh, Jones. Uh, very good as uh, a so very good uh, action, like very good female action uh, hero. We have uh, Diego Luna as the Cassian uh, Andor, oh, was also uh, very good. Uh, Donny uh, Yen uh, playing um, the blind uh, blind man. Uh, you remember those two guys from uh, the Wait in the Force Awakens who were absolutely wasted uh, in that movie? No, not here. Donny Yen really gets his uh, chance uh, to shine uh, here. Um, uh, the robot. Okay, so, uh, so uh, K K two S O uh, had, uh, had really some really great lines. A good, very good uh, comic uh, relief. Absolutely, uh, some laugh out loud uh, moments uh, in uh, the theater. Um, then we have uh, Ben uh, Mendelsohn as Austin director, Austin Krennic. <laughs> Who's like the bad guy in the movie who overseeing um, preparations uh, for the Death Star? Uh, good villain, nothing really special, but he did his he, uh, he did his uh, he did his, uh, did his part. It fitted uh, the movie absolutely. Matt Mickelson as the father of uh, Jen uh, Urso. Matt Mickelson is a fantastic actor, of course. Uh, it's good to see him get getting uh, big uh, roles in uh, big movies, so uh, no complaints uh, there. Uh, it, it, this movie have a, a lot of uh, throwbacks to the other Star Wars movies. I mean, really lots. Uh, some work reasonably, some work fantastic. It had some really great uh, cameos. There's a scene at the end, I was smiling from, from ear to ear, you'll know it when it happens. Less only one or two seconds, but, but you'll know. Um, Darth Vader, of course he was in an... Um, you saw him a couple of times in the trailer. He, he's in only in a couple of scenes. Um, Two scenes to be exact. One is um, in a play we never seen him before. Um, in that kind of situation, very eerie, very, very sinister, uh, very unsettling. And the second scene, oh, you know it. Uh, you know it when you see it. A Vader uh, in his prime. Uh, fantastic. Um, as I said, special effects, special effects uh, were great. Um, the battles uh, on the land, on the beach, uh, the beach-like area, uh, fantastic. Uh, Reminded me of Saving Private uh, Ryan. Space battle, uh, rivals, uh, the, the battle of Return of the Jedi. Uh, what more do we have? We have some uh, um, some negative things. The, the characters are, aren't. As good, really aren't as good as the characters in Force Awakens, but that's not really the point. The point is the point is the group, not the individuals. So it really works uh, for this uh, movie. Uh, another look what Force Whitaker. Interesting, let's say an interesting way how he portrayed uh, the character of Saw uh, Guerrero. The voice. Mm, 
not really a fan to be perfectly uh, honest. Um, more to say about this uh, movie. Yeah, they, they, they're calling it, uh, it it's, it's a story which stands itself, but that's not true. You could call it episode 3.5, maybe even better yet, episode uh, 4 minus. Doesn't uh, really matter, it, it fits. One thing I have to say about this movie, it fits in the saga perfectly. Absolutely fantastic. You want to see the original trilogy? You want to see A New Hope? As soon as this movie ends. Uh, it's now a little bit too late here and all. It's uh, 5 past 11, so I'm not going to do that. But um, it, 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 it fits like a glove. Absolutely a uh, fantastic job they did to putting uh, it, it, connecting it uh, to A New Hope. Really, my, uh, my compliments. Um, the more that I have to say, yeah. If I would give it a rating, uh, I'll give it a solid eight. It doesn't have the interesting characters, which Force Awakens had. Force Awakens had brilliant characters. This for the movie doesn't have that. Uh, but I, again, I said it's, it's really it's really about the group. It's not about the individuals. I think and uh, uh, Jane Erso, Felicity Jones, she's really a, a standout. She does a, she's a great action uh, hero. Uh, I think so. Um, all in all, uh, a great job, guys. Have you already uh, seen uh, Rogue One? Let me know. Thanks very much uh, for watching guys. If you like this video, click on the like button. Subscribe if you like what I do. Thanks very much for watching guys. May the force be with you. Bye bye.